Hi, I'm Graham from Loft Technologies, and today we're going to check out the Loft D2 interactive display. Behind me is a Loft 86 interactive D2 series display. Uh, each display is a 4K commercial grade display, and when you open it up, take it out of the box, plug it in, this is exactly what you're going to see. They all have an Android 8 operating system built into them uh, with a, a pretty solid feature set of applications and today we're going to walk through each of those applications. To start, uh, we'll open up Note. It's found on the bottom of the menu there. Note software is a uh, interactive whiteboarding software. Walk up to the display, start taking your notes. You can write with your fingers, you can write with your pens. Um, it's quite intuitive. If you'd like a real detailed explanation of the Note software, check out our website. We've got a great video there that'll explain it all. Next on the bottom menu is our Finder. Uh, the Finder the, is the ability to access any of the files that are on the display. There is memory on the display where you can save your files to. You can also access any of your cloud files in both OneDrive or Google Drive. And the uh, displays do have two USB ports on the front of them where you could plug in a USB key and access any of the files that you have with them. The displays will play any common file type. So, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PDF, anything like that is, is easily opened on the displays and, and available for viewing. Once we get into the All Apps section, you can see the rest of the applications that are loaded here. There is a Chrome browser that's built in natively to the display. Um, you can open up a website. There's an onboard keyboard that'll open up for you. Uh, Cloud Drive and Finder, we've walked through those. Keeper is a memory optimization tool for the Android operating system. Uh, Note, we've been through. Palette is very similar to Note, but a more artistic approach to it. Uh, settings is a Android uh, settings menu. Looks very similar to a phone or tablet because that's exactly what it is. Um, you can change your brightness, you can change your volume, um, get to your Wi-Fi settings and so forth. Uh, Visualizer is a cool app. It's, it's the ability to plug any USB camera into the display and use it as your document camera. Um, you can save the images, upload them into Node, annotate on top of them, save them directly to your Finder, or save them to your Cloud Drive. And finally, WPS Office, that is the player that's going to play all of your apps. So again, any common file type there. To the right of the, the apps on the bottom menu, I've got a few options as well. So there is a, a menu button that's gonna bring up all of the inputs on the display. Uh, it's gonna allow me to change my volume and my brightness. Uh, Mark is a tool that we can open to annotate on any screen. So I could be sharing from my phone, uh, have an image up here and annotate on top of it. It does take a screenshot of the display so I do lose all my touch functionality until I either save my work or exit out of that program. Cast is a really cool feature. That's our Screen Share Pro application. I'm gonna jump back to that at the end. Um, the displays have two timers as well, a countdown and a count up timer available for you. A crop is the ability to take a screenshot of a certain area of a display. So if we wanted to capture just a portion of the image on the display and save that for later, you can do that. AirClass is a built-in classroom response application. It's got some use for meeting rooms as well. Quite easy to use. You open up the application, you have two options to connect. Uh, you can go to the URL listed here, or if you touch in the top right corner, you can scan a QR code and it'll bring you to the website on your device. Enter your name, and I'm now connected. Uh, where I might use this, uh, voter is a, is a common one. Uh, I can put a vote out to the class. Here are two options, A or B, whatever you like. Uh, you can submit your answer. You can see that I've answered that question. I hit finish and I can instantly see how my class has responded. I can then also select the correct answer and explain from there. Responder is a, is a buzz in drum roll application. Selector is going to pull a name or multiple names out of the hat for us. And your teachers are going to like this. There is a message application where I can send my question to the front of the room, but it is set to off by default when you enter the program. And if you have a student that shows up late, um, you can access the class code by entering manager and add more people to the room.
Next, we have the spotlight feature. And that is exactly what you think it is. A spotlight that's gonna move around the display for you. There's a record feature, which will allow us to record anything that's going on on the display, and it'll save directly to the finder for future reference. There is a freeze button, and that essentially freezes the screen and lets us zoom in wherever we'd like on, that dis on the display. Uh, screen lock, it, the loft displays do allow you to password protect the displays. So if you'd like to leave the room, you don't want anybody messing with what's going on here, you can password protect them and they will lock all of the inputs until you enter the, the password to unlock the display. And finally here today, we have this particular display on a loft motorized stand. Uh, when you do use the loft stand, you do actually get the ability to control the height of the display right from the display. Um, you can move it up or down and there's two save features to save it at a certain height for future reference. Let's take a step back now and take a look at ScreenShare Pro. At the bottom of the display, there is a button here called Cast and you've probably noticed these numbers floating at the top of the screen as I've been talking. If you touch either of those locations, you'll bring up the menu for ScreenShare Pro. It gives you the instructions of exactly how to connect to it, download and install the software available by going to the QR code, the website listed here, or at www.loftech.com. You need to be on the same network as the display, and then you input the code. I'm gonna first show you by connecting with a mobile device. I'm gonna enter the code and I'm now connected to the display. From my mobile devices, I can access any of the content or media that's on my device and share it quickly to the front of the display or to the display. I can use my camera on my mobile device as a live feed document camera. I can use my device as a remote and open up files as I was, if I were using a keyboard and mouse. Or I can sync the screen back to my mobile device so that I can see what's going on on the screen, but I also have full touch control and I can write on the display as I'm walking around the room. Finally, it will support AirPlay and Mirrorcast as well. So if you're more interested in that feature, you can share exactly what's on your mobile device to the front of the room. Let's take a look from a PC perspective. I can share directly from my device to the display in a mirroring application. I can share as an extended desktop so that I can work on my uh, PC and share a second screen up to the display or I can also mirror back what's going on in the display. Here I've set it up, you can see that you can share multiple devices at the same time. Um, I've got my PC to the front of the room now, so let's take a look at just that one. Now, the difference between a mobile device and a laptop is mobile devices will support sharing audio, video. PCs will share audio, video, and touch. I can walk up to the display now, open up a website, move it around, just like I'd expect to be able to do, all without any cables connected to the display. To give you a look at the desktop sync, I can now share back from the loft display to my desktop. So if you have a student at the back of the class that's having a tough time seeing, uh, it does have that ability to get the content closer to the students. That's a quick overview of our ScreenShare Pro app. Thanks for checking out our loft display. If you'd like some more information, please visit our website at www.loftech.com.